Um, it's called synthetic men masculinity. And um, I'll just say, it's it was written before my son, but it's still a tribute to him. <clears throat> Shut up and be a man. Be a man. Grow up and be a man. It's time for you to take responsibility for your actions and be a man. Think for yourself. Walk tall. Be a man. We say these words as this, this is something that just magically happens without nurturing or guidance. How can we expect them to think for themselves when all their life you've been breaking them down and teaching them to follow your every word without question? Even though you know that they know that you know that they know that you don't really know what you're talking about, but you just scream even louder. You just keep yelling louder and louder because you got to keep them in their place, belittled, grasping tight to their ignorance because they dare not challenge you or anyone else. They dare not find a book and find the truth because my, my mama said, so instead of challenging them to research a topic or form their own opinion, you, defend, you demand unfailing adherence to whatever you say. And when you don't feel like being bothered by their nagging childhood curiosity, their wide-eyed admiration of all things new and possible in the world, you kill their imagination by shoving Xbox down their throat. So what do we end up with? A bunch of brainless toy soldiers just waiting for someone to see that they can do something right if they're taught how. Toy soldiers fighting, killing, dying, bleeding, all without the brain power to ask why. Our men need to make better decisions, take responsibility for your actions. But how can we expect them to, when before they ever reach poverty, you arm them with the excuses that allow them to coast unfazed by the consequences of their actions? Stop making the excuse, boys will be boys. Because unfortunately, you're right. Boys raised like that will be boys for the rest of their lives, jumping from woman to woman, making excuses for their infidelity and inability to accept and properly respond to love in and out of trauma jumping from job to job trying to screw their way into a place to live always running leaving behind a tattered lineage of abandoned children ex-wives and petty crimes dear parent are you going to teach him that he has the power to be a better man than his absentee father no are you going to just keep pumping him full of synthetic masculinity, be hard, don't cry, don't care, don't feel, don't care, and if you find a woman who loves you despite your faults, push her beyond her breaking point, cheat on her, beat her, have four or five side women, and then if she stays for 10 years of shacking up, then she becomes wifey. Not your wife, because that would imply that there's something good and wholesome about you, but wifey, the irresponsible equivalent of wife. All the benefits without the messy responsibility of love, honor, cherish, respect. How about we be present, be a parent, grow up and be a role model. It's time to take responsibility for your actions and be the parent.